Inside this box is the Bluetti AC200 Max. Let's get these straps off and see what's inside. Now this video is being sponsored by Bluetti, but comments and opinions are all my own. It's in another box. As you would expect, it's got some weight behind it. It's just over 28 kilograms. That is around about 62 pounds. Before I turn it on, let's take a look at what all these ports are. You have the power on button under which you have a 12 volt DC, 10 amp cigarette lighter accessory socket, a 12 volt DC, 30 amp socket. I've never seen one of them before. So I'm not too sure how you would, when you would use that. You have two 12 volt DC 10 amp sockets. These are the five and a half mil outlet. You have a USB-C 100 watt port, two 18 watt USB-A ports. And next to that is two three amp USB-A five volt ports. Over on the far right, you have four 240 watt three pin wall sockets. I like the way they've arranged the uh, the sockets. This top two are upside down, the bottom two are the right way round, so that uh, the cables and the whatever connectors, the plugs and whatever, don't get in each other's way. So you've got two cables coming in here and two coming in from the bottom here. I think that's a great idea. And on the top here, you have two 15 watt wireless charging pads. On the left hand side you have a vent under which you have all your input sockets. The top two are for when you want to plug in an extra Bluetti battery, sold separately of course. Under here you have a DC 10 to 145 volt 15 amp socket. Under here, this is where you plug in the adapter, which then goes into a wall socket. On the back, there is nothing at all. And on the left hand side is a vent. So obviously in the box, you get the Bluetti AC200 Max. But what else do you get? Let's take a look. First of all, you get an envelope. Inside, you get your warranty card and a set of instructions in two languages. English and German and it is quite comprehensive that is all English and obviously the rest of it is all German then you get an almighty huge power brick that's got to be the largest power adapter I've ever seen then you get a little bag with the Bluetti symbol on the side inside there are all the cables that you need including the power cord for the power adapter the 12 volt cigarette lighter accessory port for a car a cable for the solar panel, then you get this power cord, the blue end plugs straight into the AC200 Max, the other end is where you connect all the other power cables. So for instance, if you want to connect your solar panel up to it, you need to connect it to this cord like that. So let's turn it on, shall we? Notice the display in the middle. It's quite a large screen. It's probably uh, two and a half, three centimeters wide, uh, inches wide. Currently it's showing me that it has 44% capacity left of the battery. And the really cool thing about this is that it's a touch screen. None of these little buttons dotted around that you've got to look for and press on the side or whatever. So this is really good. All the buttons you need are on here. So from here, you can see many things. You can see what uh, the power coming in and the power going out. If I turn on the DC on, and now you can see that the DC load is zero, but it's actually activated. And I've got uh, my camera connected to this USB cable here, so I can just plug that in there. Now it says five watts, and if I press that, I can actually see more details about what is going on. So I can see the output voltage, 13 and a half volts, and the output is five watts. I can also take my mobile phone and put that on the charging pad at the top, and the phone starts to charge, and now the wattage is now increased to eight watts, because now I'm charging the camera, 
and my phone. Now, since the screen has just timed out, let's change that. Under settings, there's loads of settings in settings. I'm not going to go through them all. You've got language setting, you've got touch sounds, you can turn the beeping off. And the one I'm after is sleep time, which is right at the bottom of the second page, 30 seconds it says. I'm going to set that to never so that I can actually do some recording without having to keep pressing the button. You also have a data screen. This shows you the product information, inverter and charge history. You have an alarm history, so if there's any problems with it, you can go back and take a look at the, the alarm uh, log. BMS maintenance is where all the information about your battery is uh, stored. So you can see there is a space here for two other batteries, not just the, the one in the, uh, the max here. And the alarm button down the bottom here shows you what the current list of alarms is. Okay, so let's see what happens when we start using the, the AC socket, shall we? I've got a heater over there and a kettle. Okay, so the heat is now plugged in. I turn on the AC. And then I turn on the heater. So my 950 watt heater is actually using up 708 watts. Okay, so now I'm going to push it somewhat harder. I have a kettle which is 2,500 watts to 3,000 watts. Let's try it with the heater on and then with it off. Bearing in mind this is 2,200 watts. Okay, so we've actually got a fault. I've overdone it. The alarm is going off. Take a look at the alarm. Inverter overload, it says at the top there. Right, so let's try that again. But this time, with just the kettle. So now the AC is back on. Let's try that kettle again. Okay, so the Blue Etty has uh, turned on all its fans. It says here 200, 2,600 and still climbing. 2,655 watts and the alarm is on. My kettle is boiling though at 2,652 watts. Wow okay so as soon as the kettle finished the fan stopped on the Bluetti. Next we're going to try and charge it uh, using the 12 volt DC cigarette lighter uh, accessory port of a car. So what I need to do first of all is connect the two cables together and I'll uh, put this end into the input port down here. Now it only goes in one way so there's no way of getting it wrong. If I can get it in, why isn't it going in? Oh, I've got it upside down. See, I've got it upside down. And just plug the other end into a cigarette lighter port. Okay, so that's all set up. Let's take a look at the screen when I turn it on. All right, so now it's actually saying it's charging 106 watts is coming in via the PV or car charge. It's 106, 13 volts coming in. Okay, so let's continue talking about charging by telling you a few more features and abilities of its how it charges. It has a whopping 900 watts allowance for charging via a solar panel. That is incredible. If you've got 900 watts of solar power, you can plug, the, plug it into here. It also does dual charging, and I don't think this is, this, it's, I think this is a new thing for power stations in general. I've never seen it before where you can plug in the, a wall socket, plug this into a wall socket to charge it. So that's giving you, I think, 400 watts. And, that's an and, you could plug in the solar panel up to 900 watts to charge it off of there as, off of there as well. So that's going to give you a total of 1300 watts of charging. And of course, depending on where the sun is, all this kind of thing, it will charge in about two hours. 
two hours, all that capacity, that is incredible. Normally it will charge off the AC adapter in five to six hours, which still isn't that shabby really. Here's some more big numbers for you. The pure sine wave inverter is 2,200 watts with a surcharge of 4,800 watts. The battery has a capacity of 2,048 watt hours and it's expandable to 8,192 watt hours using two of the Bluetti uh, external batteries. There are seven ways to charge this. Obviously AC, solar, with the car adapter, the, the cigarette lighter, a generator, uh, a lead acid battery like a car battery. You can get another cable that plugs in the same way and uh, just connect the terminals up and it will charge off of there. And of course there's the, uh, the, the super dual fast, uh, fast dual charging as well. Let's take a look at the Bluetti app next, shall we? As you can see that my camera is still drawing five watts from uh, the max and I can turn on and off DC or AC here. I'm going to turn on AC and then I'm going to turn on my heater again. See what happens with that. Okay, so my heater is now up to 640 watts and still climbing. Uh, what else can you do on here? You can uh, take a look at the battery pack. If you've got more, of course, you'll see more uh, of these uh, batteries um, doing things. But you can see the one at the moment at the top there, pack one, is at 46% and it's discharging. So it's a very simple, very clear, to the point app. What do I think of the AC200 Max? Let's cover my gripes first of all. First one is the weight of it. Of course it's going to be heavy. It's, there's an awful lot of power and, and batteries inside there, so it's going to be heavy. You may want two people carrying it rather than the one. My only other gripe, and it's really kind of a personal thing, are these rubber covers. They, uh, they do kind of hold in, but I've found that I'm going around pushing them in when they fall out. I don't know, it's kind of a, an OCD kind of thing. It's not OCD, but you know what I mean. We go, oh, let's, let's push that back in. It's not in. So that's my, I mean, watch, I'll pull this out. I've got to, I've got to push it in. I find that something that I could probably do without. But other than that, this is a fantastic device. The only thing I'm going to want to do now really is to find out if I can power my motorhome with it. And that'll probably be in another video. But this is an awesome piece of kit with some obvious downsides being the weight and the, si and the size. And it also makes a very good table for your mobile phones. You all must be dying to know how much the Bluetti AC200 Max costs. Well, it costs £2,100. And that is practically the same as watt hours, 2048. So you're getting a watt hour a pound. Now, it's actually on sale right now as I record for £1,994. And if you order online, and it's your first order online, you get an extra £80 off. I'll leave a link in the video description if you want to check out stats and purchase one. But uh, until next time, thank you very much for watching and goodbye. And this chair squeaks like hell. <laughs>